Have you ever heard of the theory that says low serotonin is associated with depression and anxiety and that bringing up serotonin can actually help with depression and anxiety? Obviously, right? You've probably heard that because that's been the dominant theory since the 1960s. And it turns out it's a bunch of malarkey. Did you just say malarkey? Yes, I did. This is called the chemical imbalance theory. In 2022, a giant meta-analysis was published in the journal Molecular Psychiatry that essentially took down this theory. The researchers summarized all of their findings in essentially one sentence. There is no convincing evidence that low levels of serotonin is associated with depression and anxiety. And just like that, we are back at square one. Or are we? I think this is actually really exciting and amazing. Because when we don't think that we have the answers, we start looking for the answers. We can start asking questions like, what's going on beneath the surface? What was the root cause? What are your symptoms trying to tell you needs healing and how? Maybe you're taking an antidepressant or you've taken one in the past and it's been incredibly helpful for you. I know that was part of my story, but I wanna emphasize in this video that there's a whole lot more to the conversation about what it's helping and how.